Hey guys, it's Nick Jeffries on a Sunday morning and today I'm going to take you with me and Binky for my local walk around Caffrington South Downs. So let's go and get some fresh air and we'll have a little chat along the way. There's the old beauty, the Porsche Taycan 4S, my daily drive. What do you think about that? Not bad, super quick, super comfortable, and it costs me about 10 pounds a day to get to London and back. Obviously I've got my supercharger there, which makes it easy and affordable, because if you don't have a supercharger, it is too expensive charging up on the side of the road or at one of those shell electric stations. Wait there, Bink. Put our lead on. There you go. Put your lead on. Sorry, darling. Open the door. <clears throat> there you go. Let's get out of here. So we've been in Catherington here for about a year and a half. And before we were here, we're actually um, a little, about, about a mile away down a country lane and it takes you through into Horndean, not too far away. So we always have been in the area and we've been on the same walks for the last kind of four or five years. So Binky likes it. I think. We're gonna take a walk down the this way today. This takes you down onto the South Downs with great views, great scenery, and I think you guys are gonna love it. And we're very lucky to have this on our doorstep. And also Binky's very lucky. Come on in, Bink, let's take it off. Come on in, go. So as you know, my office is in Fulham. So it's a massive difference living in the countryside and just going into London every day to work. I think I've got the best work life balance you can have. Even though I wouldn't mind living in London, in Fulham, where my office is, and literally just getting out of the front door, walking to work, that'd be fantastic. Uh, but obviously London, super expensive to live. Don't get much for your money and you def definitely don't get any of this on your doorstep. You know, less than, th less than five minutes and we're here. Look at it. Look at those views. What do you think?
So over that way in the distance, you've got Portsmouth. And over that way in the distance, you go into London. 60 miles that way on the A3 every single day. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Obviously Saturday and Sunday, I try and switch off and I don't go to London, but sometimes if I have meetings, I will go. I will go when it's an important meeting or oh, it's a new client I've got to see. There's a little dog walker in the distance there, getting some fresh air. Should we go this way, Pink? Let's go this way. The worst thing about coming over here in the months from September to maybe October is in the grass you get the little burrs and those burrs stick to Binky like Velcro. So it's quite cruel coming over here because when, she's, when she goes in the bushes here, which is everywhere, she sticks to the path, it's okay. She goes in there for those two or three months, she comes out covered in burrs and it takes a good half hour to pick them all off. But as you see, this is right in my doorstep. I love it. I love going for walks every day in the weekend or every single day I take her out in the morning before I go to London. And when I get back, I take her out as well. But now it's getting darker. When I get back from London, it could be five, six, seven o'clock. It's dark, isn't it? So it's really hard to go out and enjoy all of this because we can't let her off the lead when it's dark in these country fields because if she sees a deer or a fox she will be off and uh, I won't be able to find her. But I'm lucky. I love what I do. I love the people I work with. I love my team. It's really hard to build up the team because over the years, I have been very unlucky working with bad people. Bad people have tried to take advantage of me, saying they're gonna protect my interests, saying they're gonna do a fantastic job, when in fact, they don't. They just want to see that you are brought down and they do a poor job, maybe a contractor isn't doing what he said he's doing. And uh, yeah, I can tell you about that a bit later on, but there's loads of dramas I've had over the last kind of 10 years. Let's forget about the dramas and keep positive. That's what I do every single day. Some people can't, I can. I really find it hard to be to see things in a negative light because I don't want to bring down my positivity you know I know we all have to deal with negative influences what come in to our lives and people but I try and ignore them and make sure people around me don't consume their negativity as well a few more dog walkers in the background up there, but two of them. But new projects, new, the brand new. We love what we do. And um, we've been creating content and videos for years now. No one, none of my competitors do what we do. If they did, they would be more successful. Maybe they are successful without doing content, but I know for sure we are better known than them. And that's what it's all about, getting people to know who you are, your journey, your personal background, where have you been, where you're going, the business brand, what services you offer, how you can help them, what value you can bring to them, how can you solve their problems. Maybe they're thinking about extending their home 
well, if they're thinking about extending their home, they're going to need an architect. Then they're going to need some project management. They're going to need some interior design. And they're going to need a contractor. Well, can we solve that problem? Yes, we can. We can offer them a solution if they come with us. They deal with one person, one company, one team. And that's us. That's new. If they want to take on some risk and go with like an architect and then find an independent project manager and interior design team and contractor, so be it. Go for it. That's the risk you take. We offer that turnkey service, which takes care of everything from start to finish. We take on the risk. I take on the risk. You know, if the client wants to go for the cheapest quote, again, good luck to them. They are going to have some pain and issues and dramas along the way. Let's see Binky. What's your name, Morning. Hello to our little doggy friends. Don't you think? Hey? What's this? Oh look, already. See on her face here? The burrs. So yeah. We love what we do. We're very lucky to be based in prime London doing business with the clients we have. You know, because London is full of the most sophisticated, wealthy, smart people in the world. And they all want to live there. So it's not like working in Manchester, Birmingham, Portsmouth, Winchester, Southampton, where there's just normal people. You've got the global elite smart people come to London to work for the banks and funds and solicitors and all the greatest companies. They're all in London, all buying houses, all investing in London. That is why we are here. That's why it's um, super important to create that content so people see us and they get to know me and get to know my team. Who, are, how, who am I? What do we do? How can I help them? That's my job anyway. So in this paddock here, that's where all the cows are. We won't go in there because it's full of cow packs. See them in the distance? See them? They usually are let loose out here, which is a little bit of a pain because you're always trying to dodge the cow packs and Binky walking in them. We've always got to wash our feet anyway, after the walks. And we Bink? Binky, come on, let's go this way. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna go back up here up the hill and head back. Have some breakfast. Go to the gym, David Lloyd, two days a week. Keep my body strong, my mind sane. It's good to meet different people at the gym as well. Have a chat of old friends. And which just get into, into that habit. You know, at least two days a week I train. I know it's not enough and it could be more, but it's better than nothing. And I think as men get older, you lose muscle, especially on your arse and legs. So it's important to do those squats and eat well, and you put on that weight, a little bit of weight. 
if you lose too much weight when you're older, you lose it on your face. You know, for any man in their kind of 50s, 60s trying to get a six pack, they're nuts. Because it's gonna go, it's gonna lose on their face and they're gonna look ill. So I just keep myself fit as possible. Yes, I do look after my skin and my body and everything. Don't drink, don't smoke, don't do no drugs, go to bed early, love sleep. Whew, walking up this hill is steep. Where are we going, Mink? There you go, Mink. Hello, Mink. So, people's over there. Gives you a bit of cardio walking up the hill as well. Come, Bimps. Thanks. If you can hear in the distance, there's a little village church up here. So every Sunday, they ring the bells. which wakes everyone up in the village. But I guess it's nice as well. Just up this last bit of hill. Ha, ha, ha. There we go. Hey, Pinks. Someone's been letting off some fireworks. I'm not allowed to. I think we should sit here for a minute, Bink, shall we? Up here. Up. Ah, oh, there you go. There you go. Ah. There you go, Bink. Mm. Me and Binky. That's our walk done. So, until next time, have a great weekend. And don't forget to like and subscribe the channel. It really does help me and Pinky. Brilliant, Pinky. See you later. Bye.